I guess I am. <laughs> As I said once, you're mine now. Mine to argue with, and everything about me is yours. Now and forever. Ah, <sighs> you look beautiful. My wife looks beautiful. Still gotta get used to that. So, I've got something for you, for our future. Well, this is it. My gift to you. So, you like it? No need to thank me, sweetness. It's something that's been in my life for years, but I've never done anything with. Now you've given it a purpose. Oh, and then there's this little runt. Found her making a den under the bath. Took me three hours to coax her out without her biting my hand off. She's lived here longer than us, and there's no way we're chasing her out. So what do you say? Think there's room in the new family? <laughs> and take his freedom away too? See? She likes you more than me already. So, you've seen the cottage, you like it? I almost broke my back for you. If that's not a declaration of love, I don't know what is. And speaking of being worth it, there's a bed over there that needs breaking in. With pleasure, my sexy wife. I hope just because we're married now doesn't mean I've taken all the fire out of you. I mean, all that adventuring, all those fights. I may fear for your life, but I want to keep that. I want to be reminded each time a blade gets too close to your heart how fiercely I love you. Nothing is... <sighs> My entire life is wrong. I am a bit more screwed up than your average Nord. My parents were crazy about Mara, preaching about the goddess of love, but living as bandits. The mother swore she'd seen her while nursing. Mara promised true love to one of our family, in exchange for my damned soul. Oh, she offered that freely, by the way. Mara didn't ask. I was five. Has it mattered? I am the man it made me, whether you know it or not. So, I got seven more siblings, all from different people. The drinking, the gambling, the killing, and the thieving. Even my nun sister is a freak because of them. Sweetness, my siblings are cutthroats, whores, bandits, and murderers. There was one, a half Khajiit, Jules. I was proud to call him my brother. Jules and I went into banditry. It was the only thing we knew how to do. We had a good few years. Then. Jules betrayed me. By the time I learned it was to support his own family, it was too late. I had already crossed him in return. It got him killed. But he didn't tell me, damn it, he didn't even trust his own brother. His own reasons were a small child and a fiancé. A certain paladin promised to save them from the gutter if he sold me out. Well, that's me.
People who work in places like this, just slaves to the rich, feeding off their hard labor. Serves them right for not making anything of their lives. I don't know, just marriage. I've never done it before, and for damn good reasons. But where do we go from here? Wait, what? Are you saying that you're preg- No, you'd have told me before, right? Shit, it's... I'm... <clears throat> I wasn't expecting this. My father was a drunk, cheating bastard. And I... I will never be that. This kid will never have to doubt that his parents love him. Or her. <clears throat> We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial Soldier. Maybe we should take it easy on the adventuring for a little while. You're adventuring for two now, after all. You're asking me if I'm ready to be the biggest example to a growing person who'll judge everything based on what we do? You know better than anyone that I shouldn't be an example for anything. If you make me cry, we're never having a child again. As well as being a father? No big deal? Oh, and providing the meals, and protecting the family, and carrying your burdens. We've I think got I've got the idea. I swear, if that guard doesn't stop staring at you, I'm gonna poke his eyes out with my knife. First. No, well, looks like our pup is still hiding in there somewhere. If you want, I can take a closer look. You know, ladyship, we only have a few months before the baby, uh, obstructs other activities. Heh. <laughs> hmm. Feeling naughty, are we? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. You are. People are starting to notice. At least, that'd better be what everyone's staring at. Your waistline isn't the only thing that's been expanding. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out, or I'll call the guards. What's the hurry? <sighs> if you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Are you sure? You cooked last night, so it... Uh, uh, you know what, never mind. Even I'm not stupid enough to make a park track and pregnant woman. Uh, try and make it through the birth before we start trying to kill each other. A new supplicant approaches. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seen. But first, you must restore to me my beacon. I shall guide you unto it. Find well, it and return this journey here. With you. If you ever become an undead thrall, I'll have to divorce you. What's the hurry? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In Sheed those claws, Khajiit. Are you feeling alright? 
If there's anything I can do, tell me. <laughs> Let me know when you're having your next mood swing and you need it again. You have found my beacon, but it is not time for rejoicing. The Defiler continues. Right now? Return sure. to my figure on Lunch sure. Kill uh, Creek. Take everything and off and get I on shall make you the now instrument of my cleansing <laughs> light. I know what to do, love. We're going to make it through this. We're gonna be parents. Don't doubt that for a second. Just keep looking at me. I'm not letting you go. You can do this. I know you can. He's coming. Don't stop. I can see the head. You're almost there. One last push and...